Hey, what's up, everybody? This is Toasty Gamer Boutique, and this is my new channel, Toasted City. Here, we're going to be playing Dragon City, and this is the first step of the game. If ever you're just starting this game, this is the perfect place to start. This is going to be the part one of the beginner guide. And if ever you're new, make sure to hit that thumbs up button for the like, and make sure to subscribe to Toasted City, and hit the bell for notifications. Here, literally just started the game. So we're at the very first steps. So here... We've got Deuce, the Dragon Master, that is here to help us on our way to becoming a powerful Dragon Master as well. Let's get this started. So here, they want us to build a habitat. So we're going to go to the shop. In the top center, we've got habitats there, and we're going to build a Terra habitat. You can place it anywhere, and later on, you can move it around. So just put it wherever feels right for you. Um, there, we just completed our first building, Rock On. We can go ahead and tap that, and that's going to give us the experience that we need, uh, or the experience that we gain from completing that. In the top left corner, this is kind of your level, and every time you gain experience, that'll get you closer to getting to the next level. Here, our first step to getting a dragon, this is the hatchery. This is where dragons are born, and here, we're going to go ahead on and tap on it. Here in the bottom right corner, you can get an egg there. So we're gonna go ahead, get that Terra egg, and shouldn't take too long to hatch. Here, it wants me to speed things up, but I mean, it's only like, what, 15 seconds? So we've got five seconds left. So I'm just gonna be really patient for that to hatch on its own. Um, okay, looks like it's not giving me an option here to hatch it. Can we skip that? No, okay. So here we're gonna go ahead, we're gonna spend a gem. Not that I wanted to, I like to save my gems for other things. But here we got that Terra Dragon and we're gonna place it on our new habitat. Here, you can always feed the dragon once you get a new dragon or you can just close that window. Here, they're gonna have us feed the dragon by clicking on the habitat, clicking on the dragon. And then here, we can just clear, uh, click on that to go ahead and feed our new Terra Dragon. So we're going to feed it a little bit here. The higher the level, the more food it takes to keep upgrading them. So here, we just completed that. Now, uh, here, we've got to create our farms. Farms are where you get to grow food for your dragons to, build, uh, to help them gain a higher level. Beautiful. So here, we're going to get our first food farm. And okay, here, we'll just put that right there. Fabulous. Oh, yeah. And we're already on level two. So here, we're going to continue there. We're going to grow some food. You can click this button here. This is only 30 seconds. It won't take that long. Yeah, beautiful. So there, looks like we just completed a first quest on our goals list in the top left corner. So here, oh, we didn't complete it. This is going to be our first a quest that they want us to complete. So here we've got to breed Terra with flame. So let's go ahead, check this out. We've got a flame dragon that we already had. Here to breed our dragon, we're gonna go ahead and get the Terra and the flame. In this game, you can breed dragons and basically they create eggs of new dragons. Well, not always new, but hopefully new dragons. If you want to check out the possible results, you can click that there. Here, we're just going to go ahead and breed. This takes about 30 seconds here and looks like they want us to speed it up. Eh, what are you going to do? So here, we're going to go ahead and do that. Yas, queen. And we just got up to level three. Beautiful. So here, we're going to keep on working this. Um, here it says, now just keep hatching more exotic dragons and grown food to level them up. Good luck. Yeah. Beautiful. So here it's asking us for our age. Normally, Toasty Gamer Boutique likes to keep this mysterious. Beautiful. So there we just entered our age. And here it's asking us to connect our accounts. So if ever you want to have your progress saved, make sure to connect your accounts here. And it looks like you'll also get 10 gems for free if you connect that. Beautiful. Ooh, Dragon TV Dragon. Meet the new Dragon TV Dragon from February. All users will now receive either gems or Dragon TV orbs after filling the bar by watching video ads. Okay, looks like there's three days and 18 hours left in this. To get the Dragon TV, technically, you need to be playing the game for 21 days. So right now, we don't have access to the Dragon TV yet, but in 21 days, we should have it. Beautiful. 
So that's looking great there. I don't know what happened with my Google connection. Anyways, so here every day you can get an extra uh, gift, I guess. So like here we just got that free food. It's really good to log in every day because you can get a streak reward. So like here we got our day one of the streak. If I log in tomorrow, that'll be day two. And then the day after that, day three, day four, and then day five, we're going to get this v uh, Venom drag in here so super cool um, if you have the time to log in daily um, collect those extra rewards it's totally worth it right now we're the 29th of january so here we got food tomorrow it's gonna be ice tokens and these can be used for upgrading your habitats we're gonna see that a little bit later on and i definitely want to log in on the 31st of january because here we're going to be able to get two free gems totally worth it Beautiful. So here we got an egg. We're going to go ahead and hatch our flaming rock egg. That we got from breeding the Terra and the Flame Dragon. So here we can place that on any habitat there. And we just got a new dragon added to our dragon book. Right now, uh, I've got three out of 1,462 dragons. So there's a lot of different dragons to discover here. Super cool. Um, in the beginning of the game, it's a little bit more dis uh, difficult to discover those uh, higher level and more advanced dragons, but we're going to see that one little step at a time. When it comes to your habitats, your dragons are going to accumulate coins. So like right here, we can see if we click the info button that our dragon income, this dragon is going to give us 22 coins every minute. The higher the level, the more coins we get. So now we're going to get 27 coins per minute. So if ever you're looking to get more coins, make sure that you just upgrade your dragons and you click on it whenever it's full. Here, if we check out the uh, Terra habitat, the max goal that it can contain is 500. So once it hits 500, it stops accumulating those coins. So you want to make sure that you're doing your best to collect the coins when they're full. Let's see. Here, we need a little bit more to get to level 4. Let's go ahead and try this. Here, we've got our checklist. Feed one dragon to level 4. Okay, that's easy to do. So, like here, technically, we already did that. Let's try it with Scooter here, our little flaming rock dragon. Here, I want to keep feeding this dragon, and hopefully, we're going to be able to get it to level 4. Yes, beautiful. Yas Queen. And here, hopefully, we've now completed that quest. Awesome. So here we got 50 experience for completing that quest there. Super cool. And you know what? I think I'm going to go ahead. Let's rebreed. Here we're going to breed the same dragons we did last time. So I'm going to breed the Terra and the Flame, uh, the Fire Dragon. Beautiful. And this is going to take about a minute. Let's see. So this is going super good. Let's see if we can make any other buildings. Ooh, interesting. Okay, so here we can get another food, uh, food farm. That's going to be 100, so not too expensive there. And I'm going to keep my food farms grouped together. Yeah, awesome. So that gave us a little bit of experience there as well. Here, we want to be grown food. So I'm going to go ahead, check 30 seconds for food. Here, we can do the 30 seconds for food again. Beautiful, and that food should be ready in no time. Here, when it comes to your hatchery, right now, we've got, um, you know, the level one hatchery. As you go along, you're going to be able to upgrade it. Here, it's 15 gems to upgrade it. Right now, with the level one hatchery, we can hatch one egg at a time. But if we save up those gems and upgrade the hatchery to level two, then we're going to be able to hatch two eggs at the same time. So in the long term, this is definitely going to be something that we're working on. Beautiful. Here, we're going to regrow, uh, regrow the food. So here, we can regrow that food and keep it going. We're going to collect that food so that we can keep on feeding our dragons. Ooh, beautiful. Okay, so here, we got a new dragon egg from breeding those dragons this time. That's going to add another discovery to our dragon book there. Let's go ahead. Let's try it again. I want to rebreed one more time. So here, we can check out the possible results. We already have the Flaming Rock Dragon, and here we can get the Volcano Dragon as well, 
or the Aztec dragon, but this one's a lot more rare and a little bit less likely. Huh, interesting. It doesn't have the dragon that we just discovered there. Well, I'm going to go ahead. We're going to breed them again. That should take about a minute there. Rock on. Here, going to collect that food, and let's go ahead and regrow this food. Beautiful. So here we're slowly but surely getting some progress going. Let's go back to our shop. Can we get any other habitats? Ooh, yes. Okay, perfect. So here I'm going to get another Terra habitat. I'm going to put that next to my other Terra habitat. And I want to get another habitat, another flame habitat. So we're going to put this one uh, right there. That's perfect for now. And like I said, you can always move them. Here we've got our previous flame habitat. So if you want to move it, bottom right corner, you have the move button. And you can just put that wherever it'll fit. So if it's red, it means you don't have enough space there. But if it's green, that's a perfect spot for it. Yeah, here our habitats are done. We just collected the experience. And not only that, but we leveled up to level four. And this is a great way. Leveling up is a great way to get free gems. It might not seem like many at the time, but you're going to accumulate them over time. And it's going to give you a decent amount of gems. So definitely keep working on always leveling up, gain that experience, and keep on working it. Beautiful. So here we're doing a great job. We're growing some food. We got some ha habitats going on, and we've got another egg to hatch. Ooh, okay. So I didn't recognize the egg, but that was the volcano dragon egg. Super cool. Here we now got the volcano dragon, and we're going to place that right there. Rock on. Here, we can take this dragon and go directly to feed it. So I'm going to give this cute volcano dragon a little bit of food. I want to get it to, let's say, level 5. Okay, cool. I'm happy with that. That's looking great. And here, we've got another egg that our dragons created. So that's going super good there. Here, we got some more food. We can collect that. And we're just going to regrow the food there. Let's see. Here, if we go to our recommended goals, ooh, win a quest battle. Let's go ahead and do that. Battles can be kind of difficult. Here, you've got the Colosseum, and we can go and do a quest battle here. Um, it starts off with the Beginner's Cup, and you can progressively go on. These are a great way to get extra experience and, you know, build up your dragon's strength. Here, we might not win, but it's not a big deal. We're just going to go and do our best. And, you know, my dragons aren't that high of a level yet, so we'll see where the wind blows. Beautiful. So here, we're going to be against an ice dragon. Let's see. Ooh, perfect. So here, we've got two moves right now. Our dragons are still pretty, you know, basic. They're in the first levels of the game. Here, you can see the red arrow. That means that this move is going to have extra uh, effect on an ice dragon. The ice dragons kind of have like a weakness when it comes to fire. So let's go ahead and try the lava balls move. Ooh, definitely a strong move. We already won against the first dragon. Let's go see if we can win this next dragon. We're going against three in total. We've got one down out of three. So here, we're going to use our move. You could tell that there was a move that didn't work. It had a little X on it. So I use the punch move. And, ooh, perfect. So here, we're still alive. Here, lava, the lava balls move, it has the X, so it's not going to give any damage. So you don't want to waste a move on something that isn't going to, you know, benefit you here. So we're going to go ahead, use punch again, and hopefully we're going to be able to take care of this dragon here. Yes, beautiful. And two out of three completed. We've got one more dragon to take care of here. Interesting. Okay, so strong dragon. We lost our first dragon. And now we're um, selecting our second dragon here. So I like to look at which dragons are going to be the strongest for uh, defeating this next dragon. Here, this dragon has an up arrow for a move. This dragon does not. So I'm going to go ahead and select our flaming rock dragon here. We've got our earthquake move. That's the one that has some extra force right now. So we're going to go ahead and use that. Oh, yeah. And I think we just won this battle. No way. Oh, yeah. So here, victory. We managed to win our first battle. Super cool. 
And for the next battle here, there's always like a little bit of a timer that goes down. So we'll be able to play that next battle in only 30 seconds. It's already down to 20. And as you get further in these here, it gets a little bit longer for those battles to refresh. Awesome. And we got some extra uh, experience points from that as well. Here, I'm going to go ahead and grow some food real quick. Um, let's see. Why not? Uh, here, we're going to go ahead and rebreed one more time. Ooh, okay. I was not expecting that. So I thought it'd be another, you know, 60 second breeding experience. This is 16 hours. Okay. So those dragons are going to be kind of busy for the next 16 hours. That's going to take a while. Okay. So here we're going to go ahead and hatch our next egg, the volcano dragon egg. Beautiful. Yes. And that gave us enough experience. We just leveled up to level five. Rock on. Now we've got some more habitats we can get, and we can also get an extra farm. Let's do it. Here, um, of course I'm enjoying this. Yes, I'll do that later. Awesome. Okay, so this is getting somewhere. Here, we're already at level five. We've got another farm that we can build. I'm going for it. So we're going to go ahead, build that farm, and line it up right there. Perfect. So here, we're getting some progress there. And let's see, when it comes to our next quest, hmm, here, the recommended, uh, the next recommended goal for us is to win the beginner cup. So let's go ahead, let's try this again. We're going to go back to our combat area in the Colosseum, and, huh, I don't have that many dragons right now. So wait a second, I'm not ready for that. Here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back to our shop and we're going to go get some more dragon eggs. Here, when you initially go to it, it gives you all the offers that you currently have. So I'm just going to uh, click on gold. I want only the dragons that I can purchase with gold. Uh, gold, you know, it's kind of like coins for a resource. So here we're going to go ahead. We're going to build another flame dragon. That's going to take 30 seconds, not too long. And here... Let's see, can we upgrade this dragon anymore? Ooh, beautiful. So I'm gonna feed this dragon a little bit more of our volcano dragon. And let's see, there's gonna be a cap eventually, a maximum level that we can get. So here, our maximum level right now is level 10. In order to get past level 10, we're gonna need to build the dragon roost. The dragon roost increases the maximum level for all your dragons. So then your max level isn't 10 anymore. It's going to be 15. This is going to be a little pricey though. 10,000 gold. So definitely something that we're going to be aiming for. This is going to be our next long-term purchase. So we're going to be saving up our gold for that just a little bit. Um, ooh, here our egg is ready to be hatched. So we're going to go ahead, hatch that flame dragon. We're going to place it right there. And next, I'm going to go ahead, select that dragon, and we're going to power it up a little bit. So feed your dragon some food. Beautiful. And we have a decent amount of food right now, so we're just going to keep leveling up our dragon. Beautiful. And there we go. So we just got our max level dragon for now, and we unlocked a new skin. So here, this is kind of like... um you know, an outfit if you want, if you want to change the skin on your dragon. Here, you can equip, uh, equip it with a gold, a golden flame skin. So here, I'm clicking equip, it doesn't work. Anyways, just forget about that for now. But if ever you want to go back to that, it's this button right down here, new outfits. So like here, you can go ahead and click the golden flame. There's also the baby, the young, the adult, and the golden, I haven't really noticed it makes a difference, but eh, why not? Beautiful. So that's looking good there. Um, changing the skins, I mean, I haven't really noticed a difference, but it can always help you differentiate your dragons. Uh, so let's see, what's our next quest going to be here? Clear two bushes from the lush island. So what that means is, here you've got a couple items that are going to get in the way from building buildings in that area so like here we've got a bush and we can clear that it costs a little bit of coin uh, a little bit of gold but it's not that much so just for the quest we're going to click on two of them to clear those huh 
Okay, interesting here. Ooh, okay, so we've got a couple of new quests here, and this is good if you don't know what to do next. So like here, we've got to build a sea habitat. I'm going to go to the shop. We're going to go to our habitats, and let's do it. Let's build that sea habitat. Beautiful. So I'm going to place that right there. That's looking great. Here we've got in the um, this uh, building here, we can go ahead and directly click on the dragons that we want to get. So I'm going to go ahead, get that sea dragon right there. And that's going to take uh, 30 seconds, so it won't be too long to get it there. Here we've already got some things that have finished while we were doing that. And we can go ahead and collect that for some more experience. And we just completed another goal. Awesome. So this is going great. And here we've got a couple more quests to do. So we're slowly but surely going to, uh, you know, progress on that. Here you've got the recommended goals. And then here you've got all goals. So there's a couple more um, goals here. And, you know, that like this one, get 25 dragons, this can be a little bit more tricky. So it's uh, here. These are going to be the easier quests for you to complete right away. Let's see. Ooh, here we've got our sea dragon that's ready. And we're going to go ahead, get that, and place it on our sea habitat. So now we got the first five dragons. Here we will definitely feed this sea dragon. We're going to get this dragon all the way to level 10 if we can. I believe we have enough food. Beautiful. So here, just keep on feeding that dragon and level up. There we go. Buttes McGee. So here, we got another goal completed. We're making great progress. Uh, here, let's see. We're going to keep growing some food. And let's see. Here, we're, we've are we been growing food on the left-hand side. If you want to grow food on the right-hand side, then you have to be in an alliance. But to get an alliance, you need at least level 16. So um, keep watching the videos. I'm going to make videos to help get all the way to level 16 and beyond. So if ever you're not there yet, don't worry about it. Just keep playing and gaming it up so that you can gain that experience and keep leveling up as well. Yeah, beautiful. So here we've got some food. And what's cool is there's a button, regrow all. So that you don't have to tap all, on all three farms. You can just go ahead and regrow all of the food directly there. Awesome. So now we've got a couple stronger dragons that we had initially. So I'm going to go back to this uh, Colosseum here and let's do it. Here, uh, bum, bum, bum. so quest. Here you can fight in colossal battle quests and win exclusive dragons. Meet the, meet the requirements for each battle and then fight for victory. The more quests you win, the better the prizes. It's battle time. Let's go. Beautiful. So here we're going to go ahead and go to the second stage of this beginner cup here. And I think that looks pretty good. We seem to have all our highest level dragons here. So let's do this. Oh, yeah. Beautiful. So here we've got this and I see that up arrow. So I'm going to go ahead and go flaming arrows. Oh, yeah, super strong. OK, rock on. So we're getting off to a great start here. This is amazing. Okay, not too strong there. We're still alive. Here, we're going to go ahead and use that flaming arrows. It's got that red arrow. So this is going to be a strong move once again. Yas, queen. Two out of three. Let's see if we can win this. I have a good feeling. Beautiful. And if ever you find the little, uh, you know, the battle speed slow, you can always speed it up here. So there, we're going to go ahead and do our next move. Flaming arrow. And... Taking care of business. We just won the Beginner's Cup. So that's looking amazing here. Beautiful. Here we've got our first cup completed. And our next cup is going to be here. Interesting. So let's go ahead and see if we can win this battle. This one should be a little bit more difficult. So we'll see where the wind blows. Okay. So here... This is a little tricky. Um, now here, we can see there's a down arrow on flaming arrows. So that move isn't going to be very strong. 
Um, here, if you click this information button, you can kind of see how strong your moves are. So hard charge and eh, 480, not as good as meteor shower, which is at 650. So I'm going to go ahead and use meteor shower. Oh yeah. And we're doing good. Here, we're going to go with meteor shower again, and we are crushing it rock on. Let's keep this going. Now here we can see that up arrow on flaming arrows. I'm going to go ahead and use that move. And once again, we have success, victory. And here, our volcano, our volcano dragon just achieved a new rank. So here, the better the rank, the stronger your dragon. Now it's a C minus dragon. So it's gaining some experience. Oh yeah, and we just leveled up again, no way. We're already at level six here, so we're crushing it. We got three free gems. We got access to the elf home, which is like a decoration. The ultra breeding tree, which is another place where you can breed your dragons. And here we can get two more habitats. Beautiful. So let's see. Here we can go directly to the next martial arts cup battle. Let's see if we can win this one as well. So here... Not too shabby, that's looking good. And let's get some information. So hard charge versus flaming arrows. We're gonna go with flaming arrows here. Yes, okay, great, we're doing good. And unfortunately our first dragon is no longer with us. So here what we're gonna do, eh, kind of the same. This dragon isn't that strong, but it seems to be a little stronger than the other one. We're gonna go with punch. And, okay, not too shabby. Here, we're going to do punch again, and hopefully, yes, there we go. We got two out of three dragons. Here, we've got one more dragon to defeat. And info button. I'm going to go with the strongest move, flaming arrows. Yeah, rock on. So there, we just got another victory. And here for the next battle, we're going to have to wait about 30 seconds. So let's see what else is going on here. We just got experience for winning the Beginner's Cup. That's going super good. Here, get a little experience for growing that food. We can regrow everything there. And let's see. Here, well, since our Terra Dragon is going to be busy breeding for a while, we're going to go ahead and get another Terra Dragon. Beautiful. That shouldn't take too long to upgrade there. And... Oh, we've got 22 gems at this point. So here, what I'm going to do is I love hatching eggs. So I'm going to upgrade the hatchery to level two. It's 15 gems. And just by, you know, getting that experience and upping our levels to level six, we got enough gems to do it. So here we can hatch that Terra Dragon. Rock on. And we're going to place it right there. Beautiful. And here we're getting experience. I think that must be uh, associated with my Google account or something. So sorry about those little pop-ups there. Um, yeah, that's looking great. Beautiful. Here we're going to regrow that again. And let's see what's next on our list. Ooh, collect from habitats. Okay, so that's not that complicated. Here you can just click on habitat, collect that. And I think we just completed it. So that's just collecting gold from different habitats. Okay, here our next quest is going to be to breed sea with flame. So because our dragons are busy breeding right now, we're going to have to wait till they're done with that. So that quest, I'm going to put it on the back burner for tomorrow. Hmm. Here, our next quest is to clear a big tree from Lush Island. So this is a little pricey here. It's a thousand gems, but we're going to click on clear. That takes two hours, so meh, that'll be done later on. It's going to give us experience as well to continue leveling up. Let's see. Uh, here, speed up. I don't really want to speed that up there. But if you want to speed it up, you can go here. Click that. It's two gems. But I mean, I'd rather save my gems for something else. Okay. So this is going pretty good here. Let's see. Here we can regrow our food. Keep that going. And let's see what's next here expand okay so to expand here we're gonna have to accumulate a lot more gold Twenty-five thousand gold that's gonna take a little while so here what i can recommend uh maybe the best strategy let's see if we can't build um another building no we got the dragon roost but we don't have enough coins for that in the ultra breeding tree well it'd be nice to breed more dragons but a hundred gems 
I'm not going to spend 100 gems on that. When it comes to this game, there's special events that happen. So, like, someday in the future, we might see um, a price reduction on the ultra breeding tree. So, I'm not going to get this right now. Who knows, maybe there's going to be a day where it's, like, half off or something. So, if ever I save up some gems and I'm going in that direction, maybe, like, you know, maybe at level 20 or so, that might be more interesting there. But for now, we're not going to be building any buildings. Here. I would love to build another habitat, but that's a little pricey as well. So we're not going to be able to do that just yet. So here, how do I get more gold? What I'm going to do is I'm going to take this dragon and we're going to make it as high of a level as we can. Beautiful. So here, as we keep increasing our dragon's level, the income of how much gold it produces increases as well. So here, we're going to help us get a little bit more gold. And we're at the max level. Perfect. So looking good. We're off to a great start. Let's see what's next here. Here we can get an egg by purchasing or sometimes you're going to have them in your storage. From completing the beginner cup, we got the Aztec dragon egg. So let's go ahead and use that egg. Ooh, okay. So this is going to take two hours to hatch. That's a little bit longer. So I'm really happy that I upgraded uh, this um, hatchery here because we still have one more space to put a dragon egg. And not going to spend any gems there. Let's see what we can get with our gold. Okay, so here we still have our three dragons that we had. Let's go with the sea dragon. That's going to take 30 seconds, won't be too long. And here I'm going to upgrade the level of this dragon as well. Here we're going to upgrade that volcano dragon so that we get more coins from it. In the long term of the game, I mean, you don't want to have a thousand volcano dragons, but in the beginning of the game, all the dragons that you have are going to be beneficial into getting more gold. So definitely something that you want to work on. So here, ooh, this dragon, perfect. So this flaming rock dragon is only at level four. We're going to make it level 10, as high of a level as we can get it. And beautiful. So there we maxed out on that level there. That's looking great. Here, let's keep growing some food slowly but surely. And here, our egg is ready to be hatched. So we're going to take that egg. We're going to place it right there. I'm going to upgrade the level of our new sea dragon. And that's going to give us some more gold as well. Of course, I mean, right now I'm spending gold to make food to feed the dragons. So I might not be making much progress at the moment. But in the long term, this is going to be the best thing. So here, we've got that little square of the gold bricks, which means this habitat is ready to be collected. Beautiful. So this is going pretty good so far. We got some more food here. And, well, let's see if we have another battle that we can do. Yes, so martial arts cup is ready to go. Here, okay, we've got water, ice, and grass, and metal. So what I'm going to do, that seems like a pretty good lineup. So let's go ahead and try this out here. I'm not sure if we're going to be able to win this, but we're going to try our best. So I'm going to go with Meteor Shower, our highest level move so far. Yes, one out of three, we're doing good. Next, we're going to use Flaming Arrow since it's a strong move. Awesome. And here, we're going to go ahead and try Meteor Shower Oh, yeah, I think we're going to get this. Let's do it. Patang. Oh, yeah. And victory is ours. Yes. So here we got a little bit more experience and our next battle is going to be in 60 seconds. So let's see what's going on here. Here we've got a little bit of gold we can collect there. And here there's a couple rocks that we can get rid of, but it's going to cost us some gold. So if ever you're running out of space for buildings, you can always get rid of those there. And here, eventually we're going to want to expand on this island. But we saw earlier for an expansion, it's 25,000 gold. We don't have that kind of gold right now. So we're just going to slowly but surely keep this going. Wait a second. Was that two hours or two minutes? Our Aztec dragon is already ready. That must have been two minutes. My bad. I read that wrong. And let's hatch our Aztec dragon. Ooh, this is super cool. So here we just got a new dragon, the Aztec dragon, and we're going to level this dragon up to level 10. 
Beautiful. Hey, so we're getting some great progress here. We're just going to feed that dragon all the way to level 10. And Buttes McGee, we are crushing this. Here, this is a little chat that you can have for your alliances. So not available yet. Uh, let's see. What can we do next over here? Um, when it comes to our habitats here, this Terra habitat is already full. Its max amount of dragons is two dragons. So we're not going to be able to put any more dragons there. Beautiful. Here we have another Terra habitat and it has two dragons as well. So we're not going to be able to add any dragons there either. Same thing with the sea habitat. Same thing with this flame habitat. And same thing with this flame habitat. So I'm kind of stuck there for now. If I make any more dragons, I'm not going to have space for them. So let's see. Here, if we go back to our shop, habitats are still really expensive, so we're going to skip that. Um, here, there's a couple decor. When you build these decor, it's really decoration. Um, it might give you a little bit of extra experience, but there isn't really anything else that I've noticed you can do with these decorations. So let's see, what are we going to do next here? Hmm. So here I'm looking at these quests. Interesting. Maybe we can go to the combat here. Let's check this out. Beautiful. So here, let's try this next level of the Martial Arts Cup. Fingers crossed. It gets a lot more difficult to progress in these battles. So I don't know if we're going to win this one, but I'm going to do my best. Here, we're going to go with our highest power move, Stunning Hit. Yes, and that was awesome. Perfect. So we're doing great here so far. Let's keep on crushing it. Stunning hit. There we go. Hey, this is great. We're really getting some progress here. So here we're going to try that move again. Yes, and no way. We won. Victory. Beautiful. So here we got a little bit more experience. We're making some progress, and we're doing great. And we've got some gold that's ready already. Perfect. So here we can collect that gold. Here on the right side, there's always going to be kind of a uh, this little bar of things you can get, specials, um, new rewards, it's like information here. You got the calendar. We saw this in the beginning. This is your daily rewards that you can get with the streak rewards. Definitely super cool there. And like here, they've got the starter pack. So if ever you want to invest money into this game, this is interesting, but I'm not going to be spending any money just yet. One thing at a time. So here we got some more gold. We can go ahead and collect that. When you make food, that also gives you experience. So let's see if we can't keep getting some more experience. I'd like to see if we can't reach level 7 here. But to get level 7, we need 5,000 experience. And right now we're only at 1,465. So to get more experience here, we want to either complete goals, grow food, hatch dragons, place or upgrade buildings, or win quest battles. Let's see. So here we've got some battles. Here, so far, we've been doing, I believe, our quest battles. There's league battles. These are really difficult and interesting. Here is how leagues work. So here you can use your dragons to fight against your friends or, or and other players in epic battles. Succeed in comment. Uh, bloop. Succeed in combat to obtain gold, progress in the league, and claim the final reward. Don't worry, you will not lose your dragons in the battles. So you never lose your dragons if ever they don't make it. Um, here, the cool thing about these these uh, league battles is that if you win both of them or all of them, you can get gems. So this is a great way to get gems. I don't know if we're gonna get any progress here but let's go ahead and try it here you can select your dragons so we're going to go with our strongest dragons here and a little bit of variety let's see uh i think i'm gonna go with and eh, let's just choose that strongest dragon there beautiful so fingers crossed let's see what happens here beautiful so there we got that going on we're going to go ahead take care of this we're doing our best move stunning hit and yes, okay, we got our first out of three dragons taken care of. Here, um, I think it's going to be stunning hit. 
Oh, okay. So here, Flaming Arrows is actually a little bit stronger. So I'm going Flaming Arrows. Let's do this. Oh, yeah. Hey, we're actually doing really good here. I'm surprised. Okay, so here we've got some amazing progress going. Let's go ahead and select our next dragon. And Flaming Arrows it is. Beautiful. Let's keep this going. Oh, we are so close to winning this. Can we do it? Patang! Yes, we can. Victory is ours. So here you can get your instant rewards or you can watch an ad to double your rewards. I'm not going to watch an ad right now, but that's always a great way to get extra uh, gold or, you know, resources in the game. And our Aztec dragon just achieved a new rank. Awesome. So it's even stronger than it was. Here in this top right corner, you get three combats. I think it's every six hours. So let's go ahead, give this next one a try. Butes McGee. So here, uh, let's see what move to do. I'm going to go with Flaming Arrows. We want to use our strongest move every time we can. Yes. Okay, one out of three. We're doing good so far. Ooh, but we just lost the dragon. Okay, so next dragon is up here. Let's see. Eh, we're going to go with Flaming Arrows. Hopefully this does a little bit of damage. Okay, tricky, tricky. Yes, okay, we got two out of three dragons. One left to go. Here, uh, we're going to go with Meteor Shower since Flaming Arrows won't do any damage. Ooh, this is getting tight. This is very close here. Oh, victory. Yes, awesome. Okay, we managed to win this battle. Awesome. So there, we just completed our first league battle, which is awesome. And we got our first reward of three gems. Rock on. Now, it's going to get a little bit more difficult. Here, our combat's refilled. Um, so I'm just going to take a little break from this. Oh, I clicked it. Psych. Okay, we're going to try this one more time. So here, we're probably going to lose this battle. But I'm still going to do my best. So we're going to choose the highest level hit uh, move that we can. And see what we can do. And not too shabby, but we're not doing the best yet. Here, we're going to go Flaming Arrows. Yes, okay, pro perfect. We got some progress there. Here, we're going to go Meteor Shower since Flaming Arrows isn't going to do much. Yes, perfect. So here, we've got a chance. We've got two out of three dragons taken care of. Oh, but we only have one dragon left. Let's see, Meteor Shower, come on, let's do this. We might actually have a chance. Come on, baby, yes! Putang and victory is ours. Beautiful. So I'm still really surprised that we won that. Um, here, I meant to click the X earlier. And, ooh, okay, we've got tons of gold. So here, the gold, it's not kind of transparent like we saw earlier. That means it's full. So here, we want to make sure we collect that gold so our dragons can keep making more gold. Beautiful. Here, uh, let's see, we're going to go ahead and regrow all of the food there. And I want to go to our combat center, the quest battles. Here, this timer's gone through. We're going to go ahead and try this next uh, level of the Martial Arts Cup. Fingers crossed, let's do this. Hey, if ever you're gaming along, I'm sending so many positive energies out there. I hope everybody's having a beautiful day, and I hope you're enjoying this. Make sure to hit that thumbs up button for the like if you are. Yeah. Beautiful. So this is going really good. Here, uh, let's try Flaming Arrows again. Oh, perfect. Victory is ours. So that's going great there. We're making tons of progress. I don't know if we're going to be able to make it all the way to level 7, but that's my next goal. Okay, so let's see here. Eh, don't really want to get rid of that, but let's go ahead. Here, that's going to take a little bit longer, 10 minutes. So... We'll get some experience once that's done there. Let's see. So here, if you click like anywhere, this shop menu, the battle menu shows up. And here, let's go back to the battle menu. We're not high enough level for challenge or arenas, but we've got the league and quest battles. Let's go to the quest battles. And eh, still 15 seconds. Okay, so that's not ready yet. Here we got some food that gave us some experience. We're going to keep on doing that. And here, this should be ready in just a second. So we're going to try another level on the Martial Arts Cup. Let's get this next stage completed. 
Uh, I think I'm going to stick with those dragons for now. Let's see. Here, this is going good. We're going to go ahead and let's go stunning hit. Okay, not too shabby. We're off to a good start here. Beautiful. Ooh, oh yeah. Okay, so we're crushing it here. Let's see. I'm going to go flaming arrows. I think that's a little bit stronger. Looking good. Next, we're going to do stunning hit. And yes, queen, we just got another victory. No way. So interesting. Here, there's a red exclamation mark. That means that we don't have the requirements for the next cup stage. Here, we're going to need a nature dragon. Since I don't own a nature dragon yet, I'm going to have to work on that. So here, okay, so this is a little bit more clear. So that means it's not full yet. So our dragons are doing a great job of getting us gold. Here, we're going to keep growing that food. And I'm curious. Here, we're just going to collect that. So there, it wasn't quite at 500 yet. 500 is the max amount of gold you can get. So that's, uh, you know, it's a little bit more transparent before it's full. So make sure you collect your gold whenever you can. Beautiful. So this is going great here. Uh, so the shop. here. We still don't have any new habitats. And to get the nature dragon, we're going to need, well, the nature habitat, which is going to require level 7. So I've got a little bit of work to do. Let's see. We're going to keep on growing food. Uh, oh, that's right. We don't have the dragon for that next combat there. Here, I mean, I don't know how it's going to go, but let's try these league battles. Okay. So here, our first battle is going to be against a couple uh, flame and terror dragons. So here we've got the volcano. We're going to try our best. So far it's going good. Here we're going to try that. And eh, not the strongest move. Oh, but perfect. Here we got it. Oh, yeah. Awesome. This is going real good so far. Here, let's go flaming arrows. And woo, victory. Oh, yeah. So here we're just going to claim that gold. Yes, and our Aztec dragon already achieved a new rank. Instead of being the C-, minus, it's now a C dragon. So it's even stronger than it was. Here, we only have one combat left. So here, you can see there's a 10 there and a 6 there. I'm going to go with the lower level 6. It's going to be, you know, hopefully easier to win. Let's get to this. Let's go. So here we're going to do flaming arrows. Ooh, this is tough. See, that one has a level 15. So I might not win this battle, but that's okay. We're going to do our best and see if we can make some progress here. So next up, we're going to do flaming arrows. Ooh, this is going to be a tough one. Okay, so there. I think we're going to lose this but hey not it's not lost just yet here this dragon can't do any damage on us with those moves so hopefully it keeps doing oh well there that move had some damage but i was hoping it would keep doing the moves that gave no damage so let's go meteor shower yes oh my gosh we got two out of three dragons we might actually have a chance here come on let's do this meteor shower come on let's go oh Okay, so there we got some damage on our guy. Yes! Oh, no way! We actually vic we got the victory here. Okay, that was a close one. So here, super stoked here. We've got another volcano dragon. It went from having no rank to a C-. minus. Awesome. So here we just won that battle, but now we're out of combat. So we're going to have to wait f uh, six hours for our, com our combats to refill. You only get three of those, so we're going to have to wait for that to do another combat here we've got some gold so that's going great and we have some food as well here you know to get some more experience i can keep growing food but i'm kind of stuck for now here there might be some eggs that we can hatch but the only thing is i don't have enough habitats to be able to place any eggs at the moment so for now i'm kind of you know i've done all that i can do for now so here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to set my food on a longer timer and I'm going to come back either tomorrow in or in a couple hours from now to keep playing. My next goal is going to be to get level seven and we're going to do our best to keep getting some experience to do such. Since I'm not going to be coming back for a while, I'm going to put 
the longest food that we can do. So here we've got the berry parcel and we're gonna go to each of the farms and we're gonna do berry parcel. Beautiful. And that's it for today. Thank you so much for watching this video. I really hope you enjoyed it. Make sure to hit that thumbs up button for the like and subscribe to Toasted City if you haven't already. Make sure to hit the bell for notifications so you get an alert every time or a notification every time there's a video that comes out. I hope to see you soon. Thank you again so much for watching. Take care, everybody. Peace.